Kuid nüüd palume lavale majandusteaduskonna vilistlase ja Peidsluut OÜ kaasasutaja Mik Melderi. Thank you. Good afternoon, honored vice rector, dean, dear members of the faculty, staff, family, friends, big band, and graduates. It's an honor to be speaking for you here today. It's a good day, and it's a day for you, graduates of the class of 2022. Congratulations. The fact that you made it here today tells a story of fortitude, consistency, attentiveness, and vision. The last two properties, vision and attentiveness, were not really something that I can honestly say I possessed when I started my academic journey here almost 15 years ago. Point being that I was ignorant enough not to really pay attention to the exact location of the faculties or their respective departments. This means that when I thought I'd take a class to be a bachelor at Taltec main campus here at Mustama, where I live, it really turned out that the School of Business and Governments was at Copley at the time, a detail that I sort of missed. But you know, trams and trolleybuses are fun to ride at 7 in the morning for class. Anyway, early morning commutes aside, I did manage to graduate and I decided to find the right faculties two more times at this lovely establishment. So after two degrees in economics and one in information technology, I've managed to root myself in the IT industry where I'm the co-founder of PageLoot, a startup that provides information distribution services globally. I started with different IT startup projects almost 10 years ago, a journey that was and is paved with failure and success. During that period, I also had a good idea to come and study some more in parallel while I burned some midnight oil in a startup. I had the opportunity to experience what it was like to study something that you are not too sure about my first master's degree in corporate finance. Even though I had aspirations towards the precise topic of finance, it turned out that my profile did not perhaps fit the area. However, since I already started on that particular journey, it did not sit well with me to call it quits. I'm glad that I endured and I learned valuable lessons and insight within the process and about that particular field. The latest master's degree in information systems analysis and design turned out to be the best fit for me. And now enough about me. I previously mentioned four properties that in my mind are important when carrying out any larger goal one wishes to achieve. It doesn't matter if it's a personal project or a milestone, a specific path in a career or a goal like studying to get a degree in university. Now, when you are moving forward to your next adventure, armed with extra validation that you are very much able to achieve and do great things, I'd like to bring out a few points that I've noticed that have been resonating with me through my experiences with startups and walking similar academic paths as you guys. The digital world, for some time now, has created a borderless platform. There are countless opportunities to learn, grow and improve. I would very much like to incite you to try out projects or jobs globally using any number of digital platforms. Instead of limiting your progress with a project or job in your local area, there are tools available to collaborate with people from different countries, cultures and backgrounds. There will be probably a learning curve on the procedural part, but I'm sure learning is something not new for anyone in this room. Going through these challenges will ultimately broaden the mind and give more tools for your professional solution finding skills in whichever career aspirations you pursue. However, there is another side to being fully connected. The gigantic amount of information out in the digital world today really puts a heavy burden on anyone who wishes to progress towards new horizons. Besides figuring out where and to what attention is invested, it is important to decide on your own reality distortion field and think about what bits of information you can start to process and why. The skill of information mining, analysis and synthesis is something you've perfected during your years of study here and that is truly awesome. These skills will be put to the test every day you use the internet to progress towards your goals. I would also tell you to be very courageous when you pursue your goals. 
Great deeds and success are encumbered by long hours of attention, grinding, and loneliness. It takes courage and fortitude to stand up to these moments when they occur. It also takes courage to not to get stuck in an analysis paralysis, paralysis loop, where you notice yourself investing time into contemplation rather than action. There will be times where the previous points are not enough. When the latter happens, then when the latter happens, summarize what you've learned, refocus, and try again. Remember, Rome was not built in a day. Now, this is all very serious here, but these are the truths that I have, I have experienced. On a happier note, that there is one final idea that should accompany the previously stated. When you do get stuck and you are not doing your best, then remember to let out a little steam and have some fun. Besides having a good time, you give your brain a little breather and solutions may appear out of the blue. That may also be a good time to check up on your friends or connect with your fellow classmates and ask them how, about how they are doing. After all, through university, you have expanded your network with people with similar aspirations as yourselves. Being an alumni is a great way for new opportunities of learning and networking. Please also check and sign up for the alumni network. If you have any questions or comments for me, feel free to find me and connect. I am confident in your success and endurance. Congratulations again to you graduates. Thank you for having me here and I wish you the very best in your next journey.